live from New York's number one news with Shirley Alicott, Mike Marza, and Danny Beckstrom. This is Eyewitness News Mornings at 10. It's been a busy morning already as we monitor major heat waving across the area yet again on this Monday. A wildfire also burning in New Jersey in Hurricane Barrel making landfall this morning on the southeast coast of Texas. The rain has been relentless for hours and the winds feels like they're only getting stronger. But we can tell when the wind gusts really pick up because the raindrops actually are stinging my back through my raincoat. We'll take a look at this as well. Our sister station in Houston just lost power in their newsroom. We continue to keep an eye on the storm as it moves northeast. And so there are our colleagues in Houston trying to cover the hurricane now in the dark. The generators kicking in will continue to follow what's happening there in Texas. So good morning. It is Monday. Welcome to Eyewitness News here. Mornings at 10. Great to have Michelle and Brittany in with us today and so much to talk about today. Yeah, well, we're watching the race for the White House. President Biden's efforts to save his candidacy, pushing back against mounting pressure from a growing list of Democrats to step aside. He just wrote a letter to Congress. We're going to hear the latest on that. What was in that letter? And we're going to break down all of the latest with ABC News, Catherine Falders. He is also speaking out again this morning on a new interview. You'll hear some of that as we continue throughout the hour. Also back here in the tri-state, good news for NJ Transit riders, but the results years away. The governors of New York and New Jersey together talk talking today about the long delayed Hudson Tunnel project and some new funding. And it's not just the heat in the air. Love is in the air also today with the <laughs> Bachelorette right here today in the studio with us. Jen Tran is the first Asian American Bachelorette in the series history. Our experts on the show, Joel Gargiulo and Ryan Field, who host the podcast, is they're going to break it down. And you know, it's so exciting when we you know embark on this new season. Right. She seems super excited. I know you were over at Good Morning America this morning. Mm -hmm. She was over there. She was. Yes. What'd you think? Uh, she gave. I don't think she gave any spoilers, but she, she's looking forward to finding love on there you this go. season. All right, so things heating up there. Certainly things still <laughs> hot outside. And, and this is what, what do you guys always say? Air you can wear, right? Uh, yeah. Yes, or gross. Maybe the other way to describe <laughs> it. Not really a scientific yes. term, but I it know. is just steamy outside. And we'll have more of the same tomorrow. It is already 86 degrees. Also hazy, too, because of the humidity. And we have issues with poor air quality right now. Temperatures 